What's up guys? It is Totentons back with another Kingdom of Loathing video. This time we're going to do the C, the Scholar Path, and uh, we're going to try to speed run it and see how many turns we can do it in. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to head over here to Mafia and I'm just going to clear out my results. It's going to leave this pane here empty. And that way we can see exactly how much meat we spend and how many adventures we use while doing it. All right, so the uh, first order of business is you're going to need to get a fishy effect so that you don't spend as many adventures. Uh, normally, adventuring underwater costs uh, two adventures per turn. If you have the fishy effect active, it's only going to cost one adventure per turn, just like normal. So there's a few ways to do that. Um, if you have access to the space gate, you can get some foods from that. Um, underwater uh, breathing, you can get through the the little scuba tank that you can get from the old man. Uh, that's pretty much a terrible option. Uh, you don't want to use that one. That is going to give you some huge penalties, and it takes up a whole equipment slot. So you do have a few choices. Uh, you can do uh, fishy juice. Or fish juice. Let's see, what is it called? Fish juice. Let's try that one. Uh, that's probably one of your best bets. Uh, fish juice box here. 49,000 meat, so it's pretty cheap. Um, that's going to give you 30 turns, I believe, of being able to breathe underwater and 20 turns of fishy. Um, that's not what I'm going to do, though. I have access to the space gate, so I'm going to use some uh, sardines. And 60 adventures should be plenty. I'm going to just do that one. Uh, so we'll go ahead and use some milk first, and we'll consume some sardines, and you'll see that's going to give us fishy 60 turns of that. And rather than uh, get the fishy effect from uh, fish juice box, or you could get a cup of gilla tea, um, there's... A lot of other options if you look in the uh, wiki, but um, I'm going to actually go to my Aston Martin and I'm going to drive waterproofly. That's going to give me the underwater breathing effect as well. And so we'll just have to feed it real quick. And we're going to want to um, cast drive waterproofly twice. Let's see, do I have pie? Man, was not, not meant to eat. I do not. Let's get rid of some jerky. And we'll do three barrel-aged martinis. There we go, 80 fuel. That should be plenty to do two casts. And we're gonna try more waterproofly. And then we're gonna head over and take over equipment. So first thing we're going to want to do is pick a familiar um, I'm going to pick the top with ninja costume for item drops. Uh, you can choose basically whatever you want. Um, if you have the jellyfish, that's a good one. The one that basically looks like a Metroid, you can harvest jelly down there. And then we're going to equip our gear. And I'm going to go with... Actually, let's do knife in our offhand. And uh, for gear, the only thing you'll want to make sure you do here is that you have the sea cowboy hat and the sea chaps on from your first turn down there. Uh, that's going to allow us to train up our uh, skill with the lasso, and we're going to want that to be as high as possible. Uh, for everything else, it's pretty much just up to you, um, whatever's going to allow you to survive. And since you uh, will be in AfterCore, I would recommend having the world's best adventurer sash if you're not very high level yet. Um, as you can see, I'm only level 15, so basically I just broke the prism uh, recently. And then you'll want to have a mood set up. And what I do is I use a mood that boosts all my stats. And so I use like the uh, Serum of Sarcasm, Filter of Force, um, Flaskful of Hollow, Connery's. Frignos, and then uh, you can put fishy in there if you want just to be safe to make sure that you don't forget and monster level can be whatever uh, reduce it if you need to and execute your mood 
and wait for that to process. So at this point, if we had gotten a couple boxes of fish juice, we uh, we would have spent about a hundred thousand meat possibly, uh, which isn't very much um, for most people. But if that is a lot of meat for you, uh, you may, may want to explore some other other avenues by looking at the wiki. But um, just going real quickly, that is one of the best items there because it gives you both effects. And you should only need two. Uh, you might need three because you do only get 20 turns of fish issue with it. And uh, compared to something like a cup of guillotine, that only gives you fish issue, uh, for, I think, 20 turns. It might be 30. That's 60,000 meat right now. So that's more expensive for just half the effect, you know. Uh, so it's up to you to decide what is best. And we will restore our HP real quick before we go down there. And then if you have any, like, source terminal, anything like that, it uh, doesn't really matter at this point. We're not going to need to be extracting for source success unless you need to do that. There's, but I kind of use that for anything. So, uh, really, this shouldn't require any items of the month. Um, I am using the Asden Martin and Space Gate. And also using the uh, trick-or-treating tower, which all are items of the month. Uh, but you don't definitely don't need those to be able to do this that quickly. So... To proceed, we're going to head underwater, and we're not going to mess around with any of these areas. We're just going to go straight to the sea floor. And oh yeah, before I uh, forget, uh, you'll want to have some scene space if you want to do this optimally. Uh, I have seven used, so I have eight, and uh, that should be plenty. We're going to use stench jelly. If you don't know how stench jelly works, basically. You would venture in the zone that you're looking for in a non-combat, and you use the sense jelly after that adventure, and it will trigger the non-combat. So, so we want to fight here. We're going to act to the guard first. We're going to fight fight up to the trap. We're looking for the willing trap. So you can use all the action on the trap. Uh, but, but since we're in after the trigger, your best guess is to manage our first one. The other uh, uh, that's good. better in the long run, run. just old-fighting thing because we do not have any nature and any time of the other churches. Alright, so just a quick, quick here. Uh, I am using Mafia for course and, and my cut cut. I am going to buy and use also, when you're on your water, and we're literally the uh, fly trap for time. We get the link from the trap, so so you use it. And, and then we're going, going to go immediately. This is his brother, brother. And there's a little soul talk to him. He's used to ask to go get back at our commitment. So, so, they're first to and then if you get a, a combat counter, go ahead and lay this turn and then this to the ground to say a little. It's a little slick, yeah, creature to your fight, fight. Have a return to toy. Put this in the scene. And if you don't, you don't need to buy some. And then consume some and shell. Back, go, go. Back to tech. And you can get on combat immediately. It's going to be a vocal head. That's what we want to do. So, so the creatures are sitting in rather other. Go to the sea fever. Head, head to the sea mama cat. Talk to the brother. And we're here. here. One, one of us is rolling mad. Use that to put it in your kitchen. And then we'll go over and we'll talk to Little Brother again. Get the mission to go find Grandpa. And depending on your class, this will be a different zone. And once you get it, head on over there. Got a couple options here. Uh, you can burn a few turns fighting creatures to get your lasso skill up. Not really necessary though. Otherwise, you can. Can pump up your comments and get counters uh, down, down as much as you can. 
before you can do what I want to do and you can use it mentally. Right, so, so, we'll go ahead and we'll use one stench jelly. And we're going to need to encounter Grandpa three times here. So, we should get the first encounter now. Use the stench jelly again. We'll adventure again, and that gives us the second encounter with Grandpa, and then one more time. And then uh, just continue through the ground combat, acquire the skill, go back to the seafloor, visit the castle. Talk to Grandpa, ask him about his wife, and the next area to go to, it's going to be the Murican Outpost. So here, uh, you can do the stench chili again, or you can pump up, or rather reduce your encounters to as low as possible. Uh, either way, low on spleen space, uh, you may want to opt for the the encounters and you can do that by using merkin paint um, anything like that if you have free fights from digitized monsters you may want to just fight those and uh, let's actually see where our lasso skill is at okay we're up carefully so we're getting in a little closer. All right, so what I'm going to actually do at this point is um, I'm going to just let Mafia run some of the uh, adventures first, and I'm going to do our non combat up. You can use the maximizer for that, and uh, if you want, you can limit the price. So whatever you're comfortable with spending, um, that will also take you down to just showing you what you have in inventory or what skills you have that you can cast. Um, Rick and Hide Paint does allow you to get over the normal limit. Uh, usually you get to negative 25 on the internet. And it only adds this one um, big, big reduce do by one. Rick and Hide Paint let you get, get a little over. So we're negative negative 30, that's not too bad. What we'll do is we'll do the... Uh, the, 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 for the chartreuse yarn, and let's do the adventures and, and let it run. Let's, let's back over here to the overview. You can see we've created adventures so far. Back to the next name. Now we just moved it back. So, if you find two jocks, I still have about a hundred and a hundred and a hundred. Right, I don't think to be the upkeep. Anyway, you went down here in our national reserves. We got that first young young. No, no, no. I don't have the key yet. We're going to actually need that key um, for the non combat choices that we'll be finding here once Grandma's out of the way. So, uh, we got both our yarns and we got our no. So, we'll head back to the castle. We'll talk to the Grandpa. And this time we will ask him about the note, and he, he's going to give us a map. Come on, map. Head back the ups. And it's time to spoil our goal to, to one or not key. And then it. And you, you got for a bit there with the crown. Crown is going to use a few, few summer terminal. I have this scary gear yet. Uh, if you have the scout scout gear, you're not going to be able to build speed in a spiritual um, because you're going to need to assemble all, all this to make the, the gear. I'm not, not going to cover that here. Uh, basically, we're operating under the assumption that you've each of the paths before. Uh, you just want to do them faster and using less adventures and less overall time. We'll skip ahead real quick here until we have the lock key. I'm just assuming that you're going to survive all these combats. Okay, so. 
Having a little bit of bad luck here with getting that lock key. Uh, this does happen sometimes, you know, just depending on your your uh, random number generator. You need to that to take. We don't like Lucky on the first man made lunch. It was it was me. So what we do do is get more jellies here. We should need some more. Oh, that's And if you're, if you're not a uh, if you tell you which which you need uh, for, the, for the part of the uh, non can come back. So hit that number, and I'll, I'll post again. again. And we get uh, a digitized monster first. So we'll deal with that. Now we'll hit again. So depending on which um, one of the creatures there drops, the lock key is going to tell you where you go here. Mafia is going to tell you which one's the correct one. So we need to insinuate ourselves into the glyph tent. And then here it's going to be random which one of the three it is. Uh, so you can just pick one randomly or start from the top and work your way to the bottom. And uh, so we got a kill scroll, so that was not the one we're looking for. We want the stash box. So we'll use another stench jelly. And we'll return. And if you want to try to be sneaky, you can always start from the bottom, work your way up. Doesn't matter. Uh, it's not going to influence which one has it. It's just basically your look. We get it on our second choice. Use the stash box immediately. Then use the trail map, and then go back to Grandpa. And normally you're going to want to leave some uh, stomach space for this next part. Uh, I did not uh, because I was doing some other things. And that's what you would use that sushi rolling mat for once, uh, once we get the necessary item. So we're going to ask Grandpa about the currents. And he's going to unlock the Coral Corral. Head on over there. And uh, basically, we just need to com uh, do combats here until we get the Seahorse. And so you can fight everything here if you want. Uh, I usually just banish the uh, ones that aren't the Sea Cow. And then I just fight Sea Cows to get Cowbells to make sure I have Cowbells. Which, by the way, you're going to need... Three cowbells for the next part. Total. So you can get those from the them. Or you can get the cuts here. So, so. Spammer, Kirkslur. Unless Rope Rope just has her. Unless it's just that we don't need any sea cowbells. And let's buy a few. They're only a, a few thousand apiece. So that's not much. Uh, you'll only need three total, so we're going to do that. And, and I just uh, want to know what you want to last, last. You need to see the so start. You want to make sure you have a little bump up, don't I? Just run, run. I regret keeping those uh, for you. You end up and sell some. Uh, but you can sell them too. So we'll buy 11 of those and just act like um, we don't have any. I probably have a bunch still. Alright, so then adventure again. And uh, stench jelly is not going to help you here. Uh, the only place that we may use stench jelly again um, is when we get to uh, where we're trying to find all the different words for the dread scroll. scroll. Uh, there is a non combat that can assist with that. Alright, so we got a sea cow. We'll just go ahead and destroy it. And of course, we got a sea cowbell because I already bought them to be safe. But that's fine because we'll use them in the future. 
Uh, don't olfact the cow. We want to make sure that we aren't influencing whether the seahorse will appear in a negative fashion. And uh, while we're waiting for that to open up, a good idea is to open up the Sea Monkeys quest page on the wiki. Uh, it's going to help you out once you got to fight the ogre, uh, because we're going to need to know which items to use. And if you don't know them right offhand, uh, it's a good idea to have this open. Uh, it will give you some tips on which healing items to use to make sure you don't die. And uh, actually, you're going to need to keep it on this one for the moment. So, uh, Merchant Work Tea, you can get in the mall. Uh, basically, to use that to get the clue, you have to eat a sushi, which you would have to do by going to to roll, roll sushi in your, your yeah, 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 put that sashimi mat in the kitchen. kitchen. Now, now really, 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 so you need to eat a little sushi or stuff for that. that. I'm not, I'm not worried about, about that. That tastes just in your chances of uh, getting the goal, goal completed in a timely fashion. All right, Sea Cowboy, uh, we can banish that one too. And so it's been a little bit rough. Uh, we've already used 31 adventures. Uh, usually get through this a little faster than that. Uh, and you can see there's not really a good option here. Uh, for the coral corral to set a goal, I uh, could just run it and watch the CLI. Uh, not, I've never actually tried it to see if Mafia will stop after you get the sea cow or the sea seahorse rather. And I'm not sure if Wham will automatically uh, do three cowbells in the lasso. I imagine it probably does, uh, but I just do it manually to be safe. All right, so there we go. Not too bad. We got the. Uh, See it pretty quickly. So if you have fun slinging, uh, you just want to sling two cowbells for the first round. For the second round, one cowbell and one lasso. And now you have a horse. All right, so switch over to your equipment tab and equip the Merkin Scholar's vestments. And then we will head over to the deep city. And uh, we're going to skip the elementary school completely and go straight to the library. Before we do that, what we'll want to do is get some uh, Merkin word quizzes. Those are about almost 5,000 meter piece. We're going to get 10. That's about 50,000. And then some cheat sheets. We're going to need 10 of those. Whoops. That was bad. All right. So, yeah. I accidentally hit the wrong button there. So, uh, we did purchase um, 33 of those on accident. <laughs> Big deal. We'll use those eventually, but uh, that's going to skew the uh, meat total here a little bit. And then we just want to use 10 of these. That's going to get our vocabulary up as much as possible. So you can see here um, a few ways to get the words from the American Dread Scroll. We can uh, use the Kill Scroll, use the Kill Scroll, uh, both in combat. Uh, once you get the knuckle bone, you can use that, and then um, cast Deep Dark Visions. Uh, for Deep Dark Visions, uh, you'll need to have at least 500 HP. Cast it, assuming your spooky resistance is uh, at least 9. You should survive. Or you can put on some form. Uh, you'll probably have to cast it for the word. Each uh, cast it, it doesn't necessarily get the word from front. Uh, I'll do what I'm talking about about sex, sex. So, so uh, we have finished our round wizards. So we'll uh, back the window and, and go to the library. And uh, if it's not a big deal, um, if you like, we can't use the work tea because uh, we're full anyway. So, um, if you don't need any of those items, you can banish those guys so that you're just getting drifter uh, in order to get the knuckle bone. Um, otherwise, you don't want to do that if you're going to eat sushi to use the work tea to get a 
to get a clue. So uh, let's go ahead and use a heal scroll and a kill scroll. And you can see the words uh, come, come bold. Not going to earn those, but it may, may make sense unless you're uh, trying to solve the dread scroll with as few um, clues learned as possible. All right, so let's just see what our spooky resistance is at. Now we got plenty of HP, so I think we're well over that um, limit of 500 and spooky protections at 13. So let's head on over to our skill book. I'm not going to go over how to get this skill. Um, just permit the first time you get it. And we're going to cast that. And no, no, it's in there. there so we know we did it in the. Okay. So, no, no, so, so we're ready. Okay, again. So we're ready. All right, all right, I'll try it again. As you can see, like I was saying, it can take several attempts here uh, before you get the word, but um, if HP and MP restoration isn't really a big deal, um, then go ahead and just keep doing it. And uh, conceivably, you can pump up your uh, spooky resistance more than that. And that will uh, improve your odds of survival there if you're having trouble surviving it. But uh, we're not getting beaten up on these. So just uh, restoring our HP should be fine. All right, still nothing. We'll give it another shot. Nothing again that time. Short, short, there, there. All right, it's going to just, just a thin, thin. And while we're here, here, get the pistol. Our meet, meet day. This is like that dash dead dead so the four thousand meat. Right, 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 right. You don't get further. There we go. I was gonna get up and then the time we got got, got our food line line. So of course we're short here here he so then go back to library again. Alright, we got the drifter. Um, what you can do here is, uh, okay, we don't have any taffy. Um, you can always try doing a yellow ray. Only one that works under the ocean is the pulled uh, yellow taffy. Uh, but maybe we get it as a drop once he dies. All right, so that was a negative. So... Uh, this is also a good way to get the uh, the book you need to get the uh, deep dark visions. Not not using it on the drifter, of course, uh, but using it on the Merkin researcher and uh, trying to get it from that one. So uh, let's go ahead and use our pull yellow taffy on this guy. All right, so we got our knuckle bone. Use that, and we'll get another word. And let's go ahead and check and see what our encounters are at. We're at negative 25. We're going to want to up that, rather reduce it. And set Okay, so basically we have some can't hide, hide. 
little bit. Of you can also use the uh, the stench jelly here, of course, but um, basically I'm just just for the, for the soul. It's, it's, uh, Combat to run. Let's go and check for a pro D. I think what I'm going to do is actually use some stench jelly again, and we just need three words from that non-combat. So uh, three uses of stench jelly will get us all three. Uh, we're going to be missing the word from the word T, but that shouldn't be a real big deal. Uh, just remember that uh, a fail time roll is going to do a turn times how, how many were were missed uh, this one because it was an entry that's what it's all like so let's try to put the page page show you it looks still still and so we'll close the first frame so if you view send and we're going to try to again and we should get get the non combat there we go so there's three options here each one's going to give you a word once so we want to do each one so we'll do the first one, and then we'll head on over to the Purchases tab, and we'll get two more Stench Jellies. Uh, which, by the way, a good place to get Stench Jelly, if you have the jellyfish, is to farm it during the Hippie War. Well, the Hippie War, war which you're going to be playing play for that if you're doing fast runs, um, and so you can get it from the Hippies. Obviously, if you're doing it as a hippie, that's not going to really help you out much with getting stench jelly because you'll be facing frats, uh, which is going to give you sleaze instead. So we're using another stench jelly. We'll adventure again. I should get the non-combat again, and then we'll pick the second option this time. So I hit that. Then we'll use another stench jelly. And adventure again. Let's try that again. And then pick the last one. All right, so now let's head over to our inventory. Go to the recent items tab. Go on the quest items, use our dread scroll. And Mafia is going to tell us um, each of these with the arrows are the ones that we know what the clue is. If we had had some space, we would know this one too. We don't. Um, so we're, we're, you know, if options here, we're just, just try it out. And I would just from the bottom, or from the top, 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 I remember. Just start, start, uh, uh, we got, got turns in mind, you need to make them two turns. But we can try that again. So we'll just do two turns here in the library. Let Mafia run it. And we, of course, got the non-combat again. So Mafia didn't run it for us. So we just need to do one more to remove Deeply Tainted Mind. Uh, as you can see, it gave us two turns. Um, that's the three times however many you got wrong, minus the one adventure that it took to do that. So two turns. Um, if we had missed two, it would have been five turns, and so on and so forth. Uh, so you can kind of tell how many you got wrong by how many turns you get. So this time we'll pick the next one, Turtle. We'll read aloud, and let's see what happens. 
and we got it that time, so we're okay. All right, so now we're about ready to go into the temple and fight the boss. But before we do that, let's uh, get that page back open. Okay, so uh, basically we need to reduce our max HP. Um, there's a lot of different ways you can do that. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just actually equip three sets of prayer beads, and then we're going to need the healing items for fighting yogurt. So click that, uh, see the yogurt page. Now I'll take you right over here, and there should be a list of the best items to use. So um, I just start from the top. We should only need a few of these. So we'll bring our uh, mafia up. And we'll make sure that we have, okay, so we can see we have a, a heal scroll still. So we, we're good on that one. Uh, we'll get some scented massage oil. And uh, let's just up, up, up to Extra strength, red pixel potion. And a plaid bandage. All right, so, so on top of that, what we're going to do today is some dealing item, item and uh, the in mouse. Uh, good one, one, and actually, a little few here. Okay, so, 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 like that's the only one wants this. Uh, so, we'll want to make sure that we have a mouth soap. Uh, some other things you can use are crayon shavings, uh, inkwell, gobble hair. Uh, but what you want to do if you're going that route is make sure that you have ruthless efficiency cast if you possess that particular skill. And then we'll also need to uh, boost up our spell damage if you aren't able to do much damage with spells because uh, yogurt is going to be completely immune to physical damage. So just keep that in mind. All right, we have two prayer beads. So we're going to need to get another one. And basically what the prayer beads do is it reduces how many rounds we're going to get the uh, sacrament effect. All right, so we should be ready to go. Just uh, make sure that you check this, this page if you're having problems getting through the battle. So like uh, here, if you somehow manage to remove the sacrament effect early, by using a Dreadslovenian seed pod or something like that. Uh, you don't want to do that because uh, you're basically going to die. Uh, your stats go back to normal, but all the other penalties will stay in effect. So you'll take a ton of damage, still can't injure a uh, yogurt without dying, and you cannot use skills. So not a good idea. We just want to survive the first, um, first few rounds until we lose the sacrament effect. Normally, it will last for up to eight rounds. Uh, the prayer beads is going to remove that or lower that by one. So we should only have to survive five rounds of that. And then we can use spells to wipe out the distant creatures. So, so let's head it to temple. Uh, this, this is our play, play fun game. If you don't want that from strange reason, you get that that will be very, very soon. Because funk funking do do healing need, need to do while at the, at the same time de leveling the vile creature. And uh, also, like, you know, say you have to go through all eight turns of or eight rounds of sacrament, um, you could, you know, funk slaying healing items 
if you run out of the other one. So it uh, goes without saying, or should, uh, you can only use the healing items once. Uh, once you use an item in combat, you won't be able to use it against this creature again during that fight. So we're going to pick a heal scroll, and then we're going to pick mouth soap, and we're going to use that for the first round. And that should fully restore our HP, and then we immediately get damaged again for most of our HP. So then we're going to switch our healing item to the scented massage oil. And we will swap out the other item for the sea lasso, and we'll use that. And then we will switch to the soggy used band-aid. And we'll go for some crayon shavings. All right, so next, make sure you're first to this page um, so you know what you're getting for healing. So we're going to use a new age healing crystal next. Uh, that's going to give us 500, which is going to fill us up completely. Uh, but the round after that, we're going to need to use two healing items at once because uh, we need to restore almost 400 HP. 200 here isn't going to cut it. Uh, if we try to do that, we will die. So let's go ahead and select the new age healing crystal. And... We'll do time spinner. All right, so now we're going to want to do extra strength red potion and then play the plaid bandage. So that's going to give us about uh, 320 to 350 HP. Uh, which will be just about enough to uh, restore us completely. And this should be the last round we have to deal with Sucrum. So we'll use that. And there we go. We lost the effect. We're going to want to heal one more time. And uh, this time let's just use a uh, gauze garter. And let's uh, store Robin Big at the same time. All right, so from here, we're going to cast spells. Uh, you have a lot of options for spells. Uh, basically anything that uh, causes damage uh, that's a spell um, and it isn't causing physical damage will be fine. So like Awesome Balls of Fire is an option. Uh, depending on how much MP you have is going to basically dictate what you want to use. So that was 142 damage. Uh, if we use something a little cheaper, Garbage Nova, you can see the uh, creature's down to only one attack and one defense. So uh, basically you shouldn't be taking any damage during each, uh, each round here. All right, so let's see, what do we want to do next? We can we can use the same spell over and over too. Um, I'm just trying to kind of see what different um, results we can get here. So if we try the Cannelloni Cannon, you can see we did 64 damage and that's only 10 MP. Um, that's about half of what the other ones were doing that cost a lot more. So uh, basically you can use whatever strategy you prefer at this point. And, um, yeah, that time it did 110. And uh, Mafia does track the HP for the creature here, so you can see how you're doing. We do need to um, defeat it in less than 30 rounds still, but that shouldn't be a problem. We may end up having to restore some MP. Let's try Saw Storm. There we go. So once the uh, floating blob here somehow collapses to its knees, I don't see any knees there, but I guess they're hidden underneath a fold or something.